Hello everyone, my name is Philip. I'm the CEO of a startup called Port. We are a remote travel service based out of Singapore. And today we are in South Korea and we are in Pangyo Startup Campus. I'm running the K Startup Grand Challenge program, which is an accelerator here offered. And these are all the companies from last year, 2020. And as you can see here, there were 11 startups out of Singapore. Today there are only two teams. This is also a Singaporean team called Tic Tac. Everyone is busy and working. And this is Port, the Port team. Um, we have two team members here in Korea, Anna and Hansu. So we started last year in Singapore during uh, the lockdown. You know, as a startup in Singapore, you always kind of need to look abroad, be global from day one, especially what we're doing, uh, which is a remote travel service. Um, because of the lockdown, we were already able to work with the uh, Korea tourism organization. Uh, they wanted to keep promote, of course, them as a destination. And um, yeah, that was, gave us a great opportunity to start working with Korea. At the same time, we applied for this program, uh, the K uh, Startup Grand Challenge. And uh, yeah, we got in. So we took the opportunity to come over here. Um, and at the same time, it was also because, of course, uh, again, Singapore was in a lockdown and Korea was not. So, you know, Korea at that time uh, still had a lot of things going on, events, even trade shows and things like that too. So that was great for us. So what we do is we build a global network of guides that are already at the destination and people can video call into them. And these guides will then bring you to, you know, wherever you kind of need to go. So imagine um, you are a marketing manager or buyer uh, or working in R&D for a big food company and you would like to see uh, food trends in Korea uh, or discover new products or even meet some food suppliers. So on a platform, you book a guide, um, you get a video link, and you just click on the link and the guide is there on the exhibition floor, we would already have created an itinerary of interesting companies for you to visit. And you can um, instruct the guide. So the whole idea is to empower people to almost, you know, do as much as possible at home as if they were there. few challenges as a foreign startup here. One is, of course, the language and network. Um, you know, not that uh, many people speak English, uh, honestly, not on a business level. So you will need local resources. Uh, luckily, the program that we're in mm -hmm. uh, helps with that a lot. You know, the startup kind of scene is not that strong yet, not like in Singapore. It's being perceived more as a kind of like an insecure, unstable kind of thing. So you know, the companies here, uh, I think they much more prefer to work with the other larger conglomerates, the established type of companies and not with a, like a small startup. Um, and then the other thing I guess is like kind of hiring. Uh, again, I think startups are not being perceived as a cool and fun environment, uh, something that is probably much more in Singapore. People, I think, much rather choose the bigger companies uh, to go work for. So yeah, we counter that with flexibility. We can offer them a much more flat environment where they can actually make an impact. So we think there's a great opportunity for us here in Korea, um, especially in kind of like the high tech industry. So I think if you look at the CES uh, companies, you know, a big chunk of those are Korean. So there's kind of like a growing interest about, you know, all this technology and innovation coming out of Korea. Um, you know, biotechnology is a big one. We are currently planning with a nanotechnology event organizer. Um, so yeah, we see great uh, prospects there uh, for us to continue doing this. <laughs> 